support of NASCAR Thunder 2002. Oh, 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 boy, oh, God, almost fun. Okay, whew, all right, oh, NASCAR Thunder 2002 finale. It's here, we're partying, it's just, oh, just pop and lock time. I'm just, oh, I'm excited. All right, hello, it's What If. Last part of Thunder 2002 season mode has finally arrived, and I am just so happy, so happy. So, so point situation. We are great in the points. We have almost a thousand points on Harvick. The dream to getting that is still possible, though we need Harvick to finish. We need to win, and Harvick need to get like ninth or something. So, it is possible. Laps led. I want to get the 200. It may happen at Atlanta, may not. I might be asking for too much, but that's really it for things to look forward to. So, um, we'll just get into it. Uh, thank you to my YouTube Patreon people, as well as my YouTube member support channel. Appreciate sure you get our early access videos before the general public, usually 12 or 24 hours, as well as channel emails for my live stream. Those, per uh, those perks are, like, between $2 and 5 So, that is up to you and what you want to do with that. But, hey, if you want to do that and support me, then that, that, that thumbs up emoji to that. Thank you. Let's get into Atlanta. It's a track where I don't have to use the brakes. Oh my god, it's... Yes! Oh, it's just... Oh, it's gonna be a great time. I don't care what happens. I'm going to be happy. Also, sorry the last part with the audio being weird. I just tested it before I started recording. So maybe post editor would have can throw that in. It's just a test on the audio to make sure it's not freaking out like last time. So... Ah! Urgh! Oh, angry noises. That's it. Okay, yeah, because I don't know why it it was peaking or distorting at a weird age. Like, it's never really, it's done it before, but it's like one every 300 uploads. It's just, it's so weird. I don't know why it's like that. I only find out after I finish recording. So, sorry about that. But let's, let's, let's vroom in the um into a, into a better game. Welcome to Hampton, Georgia and Atlanta Motor Speedway for the running of the Napa 500. This is a fast track, and the drivers love coming here, don't they? Yep, this track is turned into one of the fastest on the NASCAR schedule. I expect the drivers to reach some impressive speeds out there. The fans are in for some thrilling moments today. That's it? That's all they had to say? I thought it would be a little bit more than that. Let me check my car so that I make sure all that's good. It's, it's not, so... Don't know why. Sometimes it saves it, sometimes it doesn't. I truly don't understand. But we got that situated. We're going to jump right into it. Who's starting on the front row? Mark Martin and Chad Little. Okay. So the plan, obviously, on the start, just stay on the bottom lane and just wait for them to check up. That seems to be the only strat. So, yeah, practice racing has taught me that. We're gonna take it easy in turn one. I'm off the throttle. Off the throttle. Park. Oh, that. Do you know what? That's just a Thunder O2 exclusive. You can't escape it no matter how hard you try. It's gonna be a joyful day. Positive vibes. Happy joy joy. As we're just gonna. I'm off the throttle that whole time, but hey, you know, that's just the Thunder O2 experience. Ooh, ooh that's some stack. A little bit of stack up. That was kind of scary. Off the, I'm off the throttle entirely here. Oh, drift. That's not good. I just I just let the car do its own thing there. I'm just scared because I don't know when they're just going to check up. And this is the worst spot to be in. I'm going to go up against the wall. Maybe Wardberg can pass me. Maybe they're going to figure it out. I don't know. Let me just get down low. Ricky Rudd. Oh, God. Let's not be three wide in the middle. Oh, God. Just stop. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I tried so hard to not let that happen, and it still happened. Didn't take me too long to catch this pack. It's just one minute mistake, like letting the bottom lane go or something like that happening, and it just causes absolute chaos. Where is the big, you know, cathartic checkup? All my practice runs, they were checking up something awful. They're not doing it to this extreme. Sorry, Bill Elliott. So... Yeah, it's, I'm kind of shocked. It's, I mean, it still hasn't happened. There's still time for it to happen. Oh, God. Matt Kent and Jeff Burton, they didn't like each other. I just ran the Mike Skinner there. But we are fine. P25. 
Okay, sometimes check up off turn four, sometimes turn two. It's just, it feels like it just happens everywhere. That's another just glorious run through the corner. We're gonna maintain the bottom lane. Just past Dale Jarrett, past Kevin Harvick. He's having a bad day. Our 1,000 point lead dream could still happen. I don't know what Harvick was gonna do there. I thought he was gonna chop me off, but he didn't, thankfully. So it seems like you need to be right around 180 miles an hour in the corner. So there is a little bit of letting up throttle if you're in the draft, kind of like what I'm dealing with now. It only, it, it's just so weird, even when I do get in an, in, in an incident, I could still make it up. They just they just always have this weird speed comp issue thing where they, they slow up for you or something. Because just, you know, three laps ago or four laps ago, I was 35th. Now I'm just 15th, just chilling. Look at Jimmy Spencer representing all the Kmarts of America by blocking me. That's just wonderful. It's a prelude for next season. Look at him chop me off, too. What a bastard. I'm going to try to clear him here. It's like probably the only car in the field I don't mind hitting. D Part of me likes the fact that when you do hit them, they slide off the track. It's cool. It's cute. But maybe I don't always want to hit them. I can't help that the throttle delay is terrible. But we're P11. Before the pit cycle. Or 12th. That's not the worst thing in the world. A little Bobby Hamilton. We're just going to pluck. I was going to say pluck them. P pick down. I don't know what word I'm trying to say. The fact that I, I, I don't even know. Uh, words are hard. V we're English language words hard. I need to resort to my ancestors' language, or something. Just start grunting, I guess. But yeah, we're there with this main pack. I can see the leader still. We're gonna be pitting on lap 16, so that's gonna be my plan. We're going 200. I like red line there. That's how fast I was going. That's not what I wanted to do. Rip in peace to the tires on that. We're about to crack the top 10. Chad Little, who started on the outside front row, is uh, dropping back. Not shocked. Not shocking, really. Mike McLaughlin up here in the top 10. Good run for him. We're just going to ruin that for him. Thank you very much. Took me a little bit, but we've caught up to Chad Little. And now we're going to try to make this as little of a problem as possible by passing him pretty effortlessly. And then we got Johnny Benson. I feel like I hit him every time I get near him, so I feel like that trend's going to continue. Will it happen? Probably. That just seems to be the thing. Uh, okay, we gave each other room. There was a lot of respect there. I'm kind of amazed that went as smoothly as it did. Good run for Kevin Grubb. Let's try to pass him with, you know, some bit of respect. Uh, is it... Are, are we going to... Nope. Oh, oh, he chopped me off, and then I ran to him, so... Uh, who's who's the freaking Magoo now? We're up to the end. Okay, well, let's okay. Let's try to actually pass him this time. We almost had our pit cycle. Maybe I can gain a little more track time before the cycle starts, at least for me. So I want to try to run down those cars. Marlin just entered pit road in such a absolutely insane manner. I can't even begin to understand the science behind it. Okay, we're pitting this lap. Nobody else in front of me pitted, which is good. Ooh, I could go a little bit faster than that. All right, beautiful. Four tires and fuel, nothing to change. We'll just see where this puts us out. Please pick crew, one more stop for the year. Estimated time was 17 seconds. Okay, 17-1, that's okay, not not ideal. We're gonna be getting out with a bunch of other cars, so this is gonna be a risky LePage. It worked. Now we'll just see where this puts us out. I think Marlin might get the lead after all this? I guess we'll see, but Marlin might have a shot to win. <laughs> Never thought I would say that this season. He's been like a complete non-factor this whole entire season. Yeah, we're not going to cycle out first. I thought maybe we would do a little bit better with us undercutting the field a bit, but not really. That kind of sucks. We're probably not going to get to our 200 laps led. That's a shame. So, uh, the only thing we can try to go for now is being a thousand points ahead of Harvick. That would be cool. Almost feels like I gained nothing during that cycle. That really sucks. I undercut all these cars in front of me and it didn't do anything. It took me a while. But we finally copped this group of cars. Or at least Dale Jr. And we got a battle for a league brewing up there in front of me. Between Tony Stewart, Jeff Gordon, Sterling Marlin, Rusty Wallace, Mark Moritz. Kind of like the spring 2001 race near the end. Where there was like a six-car battle for a league just about. It all kind of stopped near the near the end of the race where it was just between Harvick and Gordon but with like 10 to go it was like it was kind of insane 
It's kind of like that here again. Except I don't have my tire pressure, so we're going to have to do this straight up without destroying myself or Dale Jr. That was almost bad. Well, that's too much speed. That was I was barreling in there too fast, but it kind of worked out. They're sort of spread out or single file, so making these passes aren't going to be the end of the world. Jeff Gore and Tony Stewart almost wrecked themselves up there. I just saw that. In my peripheral vision. Yay, top five. I don't know if I can actually clear. I'm not going to clear them. But this is just going to be, just like the spring race, an absolute just barn burner classic. That's what this is setting up. And I'm here to witness it. Or at least be a part of it, or at least see it. I don't know. I, I would like to be a part of it, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Man, this track is just an awesome race finale. I will say that much. But this game, it works so well. It's so much fun. Unrealistic as shit. Not probably how Atlanta realistically drove in 2001 with these Gen 4 cars, but... In this game, it is a complete joy. I hit Rusty there. That was mean. But we're going to have to give it everything I possibly have to, to have a shot of trying to get to Jeff Gore and Tony Stewart there. Nice run through one and two. The car didn't really bog down or slow up too much. The inside Sterling Marlin. We're going to give him as much room as humanly possible. Left the throttle here. Nice calculated pass. Now we... It's almost exactly like the spring race. I think the spring race is between Jeff Gore and Tony Stewart with me, so this is just deja vu all over again. It is not the same video as the f race earlier in the year, I assure you. It's just unbelievable how this is all kind of played out again. Deep into the race, except this time I don't have tire pressures to bail me out to, to run really well. I have to just do this straight up. Which means, I guess at some point I've gotten really good at this game to where I don't need tire pressures. I am off the throttle. I am so sorry, Jeff Gordon. I am sorry, Tony Stewart. I was off the throttle that whole time. Actually, oh, okay. I thought Gordon bumped into Stewart, but I guess not. Okay, we still got a shot to, to at least pass Tony Stewart cleanly. That's all I want for my potential last win of the year. I want to do it cleanly. Uh, I, I mean, I'm there. Am I? I uh, uh, no. <sighs> okay. Okay, we got another shot to do this. And to do it right. He's still there. What is this race? I mean, this is just peak greatness. Thunder 2 is really trying to show me that it's a good game, but I don't know if I'm going to believe it. That was another, like, really epic... That was a great photo finish in the line, but... He's still there. I still... God, finally! We're clear! <laughs> the good... Finally! I can't believe it took that long. Okay, white flag's out. We're just gonna... I'm just gonna talk you through it the whole time, so... A little bit of blip in the throttle there. Try to stay in the middle of the track so the car doesn't slap. So I'm trying to not turn as much so I don't drop as much speed. It actually kind of worked there pretty good. Three and four, we might just have to go all out and just you know, try to get down the bottom. Even if we lose speed, take that risk because we have a big enough gap now. Full throttle. We're going to get one more win to wrap up Thunder on two. Dub. Yeah. Tw race win number 23 of the year, I think. And we just, we did it. We, we did it. I can't believe it was even possible with that freaking kerfuffle on lap whatever between me and Ricky Rudd, maybe? I don't know who it was again. That was me and Ricky Rudd. Yep, that one person that commented about me hitting Ricky Rudd, well, you know what? We got, he got payback. And it still wasn't enough to stop the greatness that is me. <laughs> Take a look at the finishing results here. We led the last four laps, essentially. Tony Stewart, I guess, dominated. And poor Sterling Marlin, who was up there, just kind of fell off. Mark Barn got six, Benson seventh, Kevin Grubb, Chad Little, Neil Jarrett ten, Jerry Nadeau, Bobby Hamilton. I, where did Marlin finish? Unless I'm completely missing it. I thought he was up there in a the top ten. Where did he go? He just completely choked his top five away. Kevin Harvard, 26. That is an embarrassing... Ricky Rudd with an embarrassing turnout. He might lose 12 in points, maybe. Uh, Marlon got 42nd. A lap down. And Spencer got last. Ha! Ha! That's what you get. For, for fucking Curry over. And being an absolute jackass in the Dale Jr. download. I'm still not going to forget that. He was such a freaking tart in that. He just... Still bitter, still salty, an old man. And Kurt was right, he was the decrepit old has-been. 
Yeah, I said it. Yep. That DLG, he's freaking, like, he fudged the information so badly. It's just, oh, God. I, oh, I, that, that's the perfect, that's like the greatest freaking race ever. I win, Spencer gets last, I get to laugh at him one more time, and he might lose a point in the standings, and me embarrass him. So he just, I, good, it's good Kmart fell apart. I don't know, yeah. 2, 8, 12, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's just, let's just look at the final point standings. Yeah! Oh, God! The game chucked. Ugh. Ugh. Congratulations, NASCAR Thunder Champion. You're damn right. A thousand points on Harvick. Oh, that's just amazing. I forgot that that came up. I was not emotionally prepared for that. Harvick. Jeff Gordon beat Harvick in the points right at the last second. Wow, what a choke artist. Is that a sign of that's what would happen to Dale Earnhardt in 2001? Had he lived, Gordon would win the championship by like 23 points because Earnhardt choked at Atlanta. Is that the, is that the narrative? Or at New Hampshire? If we're going by like race, last race for now. I don't know, but that's, that's a choke and a half if I've ever seen it. Mark Martin fourth. Spencer drops it. I think eighth. I don't know if he actually lost the spot. Rusty Wall still ninth. Bobby Labonte racks out the top ten. Newman eleventh. Ricky Rudd. Oh, I guess by 102 points. Secured it over Jeff Green. I'm kind of surprised because Rudd finished pretty bad. So I guess Rudd finished worse. Or Green finished worse. I don't know. But the rest of the points look pretty all right. Um, don't know what really to say. Just a freaking did Casey Atwood got outran by I thought it was a fancy car or a car or a Bush series car. I don't know what I was thinking, but that's embarrassing. Um, Kenny Wallace got outran by Bush series Tony Reigns. That's funny. Kyle Petty got outran by Ellen Sophie. <laughs> oh lord. Oh boy. Kyle Petty should have just retired after 2000. We we're gonna really end this freaking part on a freaking other Adam Petty joke. Oh my god. Don't. <laughs> Yep, yeah, well, that's so mean. I'm, I'm, a, I know I'm a monster. Uh, well, we got Arch charged up rookie of the race, lap champion. We're gonna end it at lap 191. It should have been so much more had we not just, just ruined our race at, at Martinsville. That should have at least been like 210, maybe. Dale Jr. second, Stuart Gordon Harvick. Well, Mike Skinner rounds out top 10. He led two races, but he led a chunk. Ricky Rudd and I. Popular Bonnie. Dewey Spencer actually led a good chunk. I don't know what to say, but those are some of the general stats. I guess we'll look at ours. 23 wins, 30 top 5s, 35 top 10s. Average finish at 2.8. We pretty much did about as statistically disgusting as humanly possible. The other winners, I think there's only like 10 different winners. We have Dale Jr. with his stats, so I guess we'll kind of look through, through through these very quickly. At least none of his are glitched up like in the career mode. That That's a throwback. And Dale Jarrett, do the ages go up each year? I just, I just noticed that because I was looking at this off camera. Dale Jarrett was like age 44, so I guess with each season, I guess when the season ends, they just age. I guess that's cool to see. I didn't, I didn't know that was a, a thing. That's neat. So yeah, we got Dale Jarrett, and then we got Mark Martin, who was a good contender early on, had a very strong season, unlike his real-life 2001 counterpart, so good for him. Rusty Wallace ran about as Rusty Wallace of a season as possible, getting a top-10 points finish. Jeff Gordon, at, well, won one win, but we you know, stole a lot of wins from him. Uh, he did very good. His average finish was 9.1. I think in real life it was maybe, I don't know what it was exactly. I think it was a little bit higher than that. Uh, Kevin Harvick with the win. Bobby Labine with the win, Ricky Rudd with the win, Tony Sir with the win, and then that's it. Uh, laps led. I think we were the highest with that. Yep, 200 and... No, there we go. 212. We uh, Laps. I guess that's the only one to complete every single lap. Jimmy Spencer was the second most with 1,087, so that's interesting to note. So we'll look at that real quick. So, don't know what else really to show. Uh, we can look through the results. Rusty Wallace won Daytona. We went on a, like, 
nine race win winning streak, but that was back with the 30 tire pressures during the pit stop. So um, once we got rid of that around the halfway point, I wasn't winning as much, but I was still incredibly consistent. So I think it made a difference. It might have been like a five or like a five percent difference. It wasn't as major of a difference as I guess I was thinking because we still ran pretty well. Just we weren't completely winning every single race. It was there was a tiny bit of breaks in between. But otherwise, uh, damn good season. I don't know what to you have unlocked a new new car in driver select in new movies inside EA. Would you like to save your settings now? Sure. God, I hope my recording goes okay it's, so I don't make this brash, brass, brash decision. I can't talk. So what does that mean? Kirk Bush is just one. We're gonna. Okay. Um. I guess we'll look at the race now and see what new car we have. I. I don't know what that is again. I don't remember. Okay. So we're at the race thing. So what's the new car? So I'm assuming all of this is in alphabetical order. I don't really know. Unless it's Richard Petty, that's like my only assumption. Well, I feel like I've seen him before, though. Is that the new car? Who is the new car? Is it just Richard Petty? It was it like just as bland as what I was thinking it was going to be? I guess it was. Well, good for Richard Petty, I guess. Um, I don't know what really to say. I guess... Uh, We'll go back to season mode and we'll just wrap up this part. I, I guess. I think. I guess this is where we ended. Big shout out to my two, three Patreon supports: Dave Farn, Chef Fifteen, Kamikaze Games, Bailey Care, and Mexico League 1986 for support again. I appreciate what you guys do for my channel every single month. It always means a lot. I always really appreciate it. So just thank you as always for the wonderful continued support. That'll do it for me with NASCAR 2002. I don't know what on earth to make of it. I guess that's the money we earned. So that's kind of neat to see that. We haven't really seen that all season. At least I don't think so, like in the driver stats, I don't think there's anything with regards to money, so I guess that's just something you see at the end of the season. So, um, yeah, a lot of people tie with pulls, okay. So, yeah, uh, obviously with Thunder 03, that will be coming up at some point, I, I just need a break from this. Maybe the first week of March will be a new video, uh, so by the time this finale comes out, it'll be like mid-February, so maybe there'll be like a week or two break. And then uh, Thunder 03 will come out. So, I don't think it's going to be coming out in the same volume, like, like six days a week like this. I think it's going to probably be back to what Inside Line was, like maybe like three times a week, maybe four. And then maybe with being three times a week, me back and throw in like, like an extra video or two here or there that's like maybe one-offs or some other like side series. So, something, so it's not just always this. I don't know. So... That's kind of the, the mindset I have, so I guess we'll see how it goes. But for now, I am just going to take a vacation, well, somewhat of, of some capacity, and chill, and and all that. So thank you for watching this series, as much of a shit show it could be at times. But, yeah. I'll see you all in Thunder 03 at some point. I'll see you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.